It's now, ladies, hold yourselves back. All right, white flags up, Sammy, and we've got four of the best 1.6-litre hydroplanes in Australia ready to do battle here. We've got two of the new capsule boats and two older generation shovel noses. Looks like Jasmine Frankovic gets a cracking little start, but it's Grant Harrison and Brad Hollands who are going to hit the pin number one in P1 and 2. Jasmine will probably exit in P1 with that tight short line. No, in fact, Harrison manages to hold on to it. And it looks like Coombsy has got an engine that doesn't want to play the game at the moment, Sammy. Oh, very much uh, so. It's uh, popping as it went past us. But no such thing for uh, Harrow as he goes up that uh, back straight away towards the top corner. Have a look at Jasmine, if you don't mind. She wants to mix it with the guys. Lay, I'm here, fellas, and uh, I'm here to play. Over on the outside, Brady Holland there in the HBR. Buzz, they come into front straight away. But this one, this 86 boat, beautiful looking little 1.6 litre uh, Bisho. And it's sitting on the water very nicely for Grant. Yeah, probably the quality of the field is the 86 boat, but I tell you what, he's getting a fair old hurry up. Jazzy Frankovic having an absolute red hot go down the inside, and Brad Holland's having a red hot go down the outside. This is a ding dong going on here at the moment. In fact, Jazzy Frankovic with that tight line just pokes her nose into the lead momentarily. Harrison takes it back and he says, you've got to do more than that young lady to beat me. But I tell you what, Jazzy Frankovic is giving uh, Brad Holland some real grief here at the moment. And uh, young Bradley's got his work cut out for him on the outside. I reckon uh, Harrow would be saying, what are you doing there, girlie? You shouldn't be there. But she'd be saying, I'm here, Harrow, and I'm putting on the pressure to you. In her front straight away, and Brad Holland right along nearly alongside her as they come out of the chute, coming past uh, the tower once again. But uh, Grant puts the accelerator down a little bit harder, sets the boat beautifully up for uh, the uh, bottom corner. But Jasmine starting, makes up a lot of ground at about the halfway uh, two-thirds mark, mate. She really winds this little white uh, boat no direction up. Yeah, I'd say it's probably got fairly tall gearing in it, both propeller and, uh, well, with propeller and these, I don't have a gearbox in them, obviously, they're direct drive, so maybe she's running a slightly taller prop than the others. Look like Holland's got a problem. Oh, no, Brad Holland's going out the door backwards. Oh, this is a tough day at the office, so he's out. Jazzy Frankovic, though, it's all going on at the head of the pack at the moment as we are on the yellow flag lap now. Harrow has another look at his mirrors. And she's just like one of those annoying blowflies that just won't go away, Sammy. Oh, she's nipping away like, oh, Harrow's gone. Oh, oh, oh. Jasmine, Jasmine put the pressure on and said, that's what you guys can do. This is massive. Jasmine will go, what am I meant to do now? <laughs> Keep no going, girl. Go, you good thing. I've got no one to play with. <laughs> Bit of girl power out there at the moment. Jazzy Fragovic, well, I tell you what, Sammy. It's not only won and lost on the race course, it's won and lost in the workshop. And at the moment, the uh, No Direction team have done the hard yards and reliability's come to them. Who's going to be shouting tonight, Matthew? Hey, <laughs> it's not Jasmine. Whoa, she goes up the top there as Coombsy comes past. As we said, that was popping a little bit, but into that top corner for the last time, homeward bound, and this will be a long, long, probably three or 400 metres for her, mate. She'll be really waiting to get that check in. Coombsy's still running on about two and a half cylinders there, so he's not going well at all. He's got some work to do on that boat. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. No direction. Jasmine Frankovic takes the win. Reliability, that's what it's all about. She pushed them all hard. They all fell away, and the one direction, no direction, just uh, kept trucking along and got the job done. Well done, Jazzy. There might be a swim coming her way, Sam. Yeah, certainly might be. Oh, she's still going up the back there. I don't know if she hasn't seen the checkered flag, but Jasmine, you know what could happen if you uh, do an extra one. She's got no two-way radio mate not like the uh, new boys the, the the new toys yeah well, you always try and explain that away don't you as a driver no I wasn't at full speed no I was just cruising home on the rev limiter but uh, so we'll have to wait and see what the call is there so checkered flag still out so that's an interesting one Sammy I'm not sure I didn't see a black flag uh, I can now so checkered flag was out obviously for Gary Coombs 
Uh, they didn't pull the black flag there until after Jasmine had gone past. So, anyway, we're calling her as a winner, Sammy. Um, this is what happens when you this, win. This. <laughs> She just wants to keep going, Paul Sam. Paul Burton done it. Paul Burton done it in Warlord, buddy. He done about three or four extra laps. Seven laps. Seven laps. <laughs> Paul Burton did seven extra laps. Wow. I didn't even... Seven oh, in total, he's done seven extra laps. <laughs> wow, we... Well, Jazzy... Uh, well, well, we'll see what the judges say about that. Uh, they'll probably have a little chat with her and decide what they're going to do. But great race anyway, regardless. She took the win on the course. It was worth 5,000, I think. What, the win was? <laughs>